we need to make a hardware shelf, actually two shelves, for the computers that run the motors. Um, right here, this is the Command CNC Core CNC computer driver that actually has the Gecko driver in it to push the motors. Kind of want to take a look inside here at the guts. Right here, you can see the Gecko drive with one, two, three, four motor positions, and they've got this little extension right here to accommodate a fifth motor on this drive. Uh, that all feeds back, as far as I can tell, um, to this main CPU, or sort of processor board, whatnot here, and this is what kind of slices everything up and receives it and shoots it out to the correct components. Uh, right here, this is the digital torch height control module. This is the ether cut that communicates to the PC through an ethernet cable. That's what communicates with the desktop down here. This is kind of a button panel and all the sensor signals here. This is the external inputs section can see a little tiny board back there. That's all driven by this power supply right here that also kicks out to another 220 volt auxiliary power plugs. But regardless, I need to make a shelf or two shelves uh, for this desktop right here and the drivers to sit in underneath the table. First order of business here, this is basically a view of the side of the table. This is my gear rack right underneath here, top tube, bottom tube, and this is that center vertical post that supports the center of the table. Uh, this is what we're gonna be building is these little pieces in here. And I hopefully, once this is all said and done, I want the desktop computer to sit right up here and the command CNC unit to sit right down here. Uh, in order to do that, I already went up and measured them up. I'm going to need vertical post right here, 15 inches, two horizontal beams that will measure 17 and a half inches. So if this is the side view, imagine this as a top view looking down from here. So this would be the front of the table. This is that 3x3 three three tube that is the current vertical support for the table. This is the new 2x2 two two vertical tube we're going to put in there. And this is that 17 and a half inch crossbar sitting on the front, that horizontal sitting on the front. Uh, we're going to need two 13 inch pieces, four 17 and a half inch pieces, two 15 inch pieces, and I'm going to cut some of that flat stock that we used for these slats as just kind of a filler on the bottom there to fill in some space. And we're going to need six of those at 15 inches. Already got the saw set up, so let's get cranking. Here we got all the pieces cut out and ready to go. And this is the side of the table where we're going to put the two shelves in right here. So I've got this marked up at 17 and a half, which is going to be the width of my horizontal. That way I can just line up the vertical on those two marks. It'll be square, it'll be plumb, ready to go. So uh, I'm just gonna build this in place. Let's get it all tacked together, squared up, and then we'll weld it out.
shelves out real quick. Just wanted to show you guys how this is going to sit. Got the core CNC power controller driver up here and the desktop computer slid in right there. Snug as a bug in a rug. A little bit of clearance over here and this top one is like ta ta tight tight. Just how I like it. Uh -huh. Plenty of room back here to run some wires. Not bad. So the uh, cable track, this little, uh, I don't even know what they call this chain thing that holds all the cables, but it lays in this track and it should output bloop, right here in front of the computers. Nice.